Good morning, it's Friday. We have two days left. But today is going to be pretty eventful. So is tomorrow, actually. And I'm actually a bit anxious for today. But we'll see how it goes. We just woke up at 6. And now it's 6.30, but got ready. We still have our bikes, so we're going to take these out. And then we have to return them a little bit later today. They're still <laughs> I brought them in. They were out on the balcony, but we're going to just ride around. There's less traffic right now, so it should be a little bit easier. And we just wanted to make use of it since we didn't... Um, we had it for the whole 24 hours. So um, that's what we're going to do. And then we're supposed to get two surfboards and a paddleboard delivered around 8 to 9. Yeah. by that stand. I should have filmed there. She gave me a sample. Wow. How good that looks. What is that, mushrooms? No, banana. <laughs> May not be very clear. Put him out here. <laughs> Push, push, push. <laughs> <laughs> You're barely pushing. Well, because we're gonna pull! We made this work. I haven't um, vlogged much since I don't know when, but we went surfing and we didn't bring our GoPros because we were surfing. None of us, none of us, <laughs> uh, tired. We didn't catch waves. We tried. Sebastian did pretty good. I was able to stand up, but like not fully. It was like more of a crouch and then I would just fall. And I think we were there for how long, babe? Two hours? Two and a half-ish? Uh, it was a really cool service. It was called, like, Island Surf Rentals or something. And they d delivered it to us and also picked up the board. So we ordered the stand-up paddle board and all that. I did hurt my foot. You can see it. Let me show you. Footage. I have to blur my toes out. This morning when we got into the into the water, we were like right at the ocean, whatever, and the paddleboard was sitting there over the water, and then a wave came and hit the paddleboard plus the pressure of everything it hit into my foot. That's where this all started, and then I proceeded to do activities so I don't know it's I'm like barely able to 
walk on it right now unfortunately so i did take tylenol i iced it and hopefully it will feel better because we have to wake up early in the morning and go snorkeling but i'll push through the pain even even if it still hurts but i think it's just sprained or bruised i don't know it hurts i'm tired af about to go out to eat it's our final day here the last clips you would have seen are are us snorkeling we booked like a boat ride to Malakini and then turtle town or whatever not a great idea if you get seasick or nauseous whatsoever I threw up wasn't a good time for me I just like the boat was super rocky the whole time, like, rocking back and forth. You were fine, of course. I was fine at first, but then once we stopped, it was, like, really bad. And then getting in the water doesn't even help because you're still in the water just bobbing up and down. And I still just felt nauseous the whole time in the water, plus it was cold. It was cool, though, to see the fish and the turtles saw dolphins yeah we saw dolphins not while we were in the water but while we were on the boat they were couple, jumping by a couple people saw sharks yeah so they saw sharks we don't know what kind but um the turtles were cool i honestly i would say just like just go snorkel by your condo <laughs> no it's Save not 150 you, bucks no i mean like i think it just depends on the area it was that. nice it was beautiful but if you like a boat ride it was a long boat ride so if you like boats then that's for you there was like breakfast and lunch i didn't eat really because um there wasn't many vegan options and then also i just i felt so sick so i didn't want to eat but yeah the food was good to me that's good 
I mean, just sandwich. The, the pasta. People, the, people the, are pasta super was, nice. the pasta was just just like your dad's pasta. Really? Yeah, it looked yeah. like it. I, that smell was like sickening to me. The onions. So. Oh, I love onions. Well, when you're nauseous, it's not. But yeah, the people were super friendly. We went with Aqua Adventure. Aqua Adventure, right? Mm -hmm. And they were awesome. Um, but just the boat life ain't for me. We're gonna go to get some food real quick. We did some laundry, just a load, so that we would have cl like clean clothes for the airport, for our air airplane ride, because it's gonna be a long one again. Bananas, we got arepas, yuca fries, tostones, beautiful. This is vegan cheese, vegan, half of it's vegan. This is mine, you sure? I'm Hello y'all, we have made it back home. It's what time? 1.56. Is this the right time? Is it 2 o'clock, babe? I don't know. I think it's 2 o'clock. This should be right. And it's Monday, May 2nd. Um, we left, you know, we were in Hawaii on the 1st. Our flight was at 7 p.m. overnight. We landed in Texas at like 7 in the morning, earlier than that. And then our flight was at about nine o'clock to come back to Atlanta. So we traveled forward in time. We lost some hours and I'm so glad to be home, to be honest. I mean, I, I would have loved to stay in Hawaii, but I hate like the flying part of traveling, to be honest, because my knees were hurting so bad. It's just so uncomfortable, especially for long flights. But luckily the way back was shorter. I also really haven't eaten much because they only give like a meat meal and a vegetarian meal which still has like dairy in it so i had some auntie ann's auntie annie's i don't whatever it's called and um some chips and water like that's all i've had so i need to eat something i suppose and try not to fall asleep for the rest of the day i did want to give an update on my nails look at them they're still doing great they're not perfect but even on my toes, they're still there. I'll link down, I'll link below the nail polishes that I ordered. Um, I used a mix from uh, two companies. So like the base coats were from a different company and the color was from a different one. So uh, yeah, I saved quite a bit of money by not 
getting my nails professionally done and this survived like the beach and all that. And then I just wanted to show what I picked up on our, during our last day there. These are just from Walmart because everything else is too expensive and I wanted something. So I got this t-shirt was $5.92. It's for children and it just says Hawaii forever or really H-I forever and it has the islands across the top here. Thought that was cute. I like this color and it can, I can, I may crop it. I don't know. I probably will. Y'all know me. And then this one is plain on the front, but the sleeves say Maui and the back is like that. Maui, Hawaii. Um, these, these little vans are out here. Like we saw a couple of them. And then obviously with the surfboards. I thought this was pretty cool. I really like the color. And this one was $17.98. That's all I bought as far as that goes. Oh, something that happened. I was so annoyed. We were so annoyed with TSA in Hawaii because we had literally gone to the like Earth Day festival in, in Maui. And Sebastian bought like this nut butter type of thing that somebody made like a, at a stand and they told us like that's the, the right size like 3.4 ounces for you to get through security at the airport um they ended up taking that we just had to throw it out they also took like my ice pack for my medication because i didn't freeze it again because i didn't need to since i had already injected the medication i just was taking it back to put in my biohazard container which is annoying because it's like that was part of my travel kit from Humera. And then they took my oatmeal. Even though I traveled, like when we checked in in Atlanta, I had four of the little mush oatmeals with me. And so I still had one left. I saved it specifically for this trip, like back, so I would have something to eat. And they took it. I was like, why? I literally was like, that's oatmeal. It's solid. It's not, it's not liquid at all. Like, he was like, it's over the size. I'm like, but it's solid. And yeah, it's, there's just no point of arguing with them. So that got thrown away. We had brought ketchup. I figured that would get taken, but like we didn't want to put it in our bag and risk it being exploded. So we just tried to take it. That got thrown away. My green beans got thrown away. You can't take like vegetables. You can take like carrots though. I was able to keep those. And then he was like, oh, we even... Even if you have butter, you're not allowed to take that. But he let me take the butter. Like, I don't know. It was weird. So I have some butter with me. Unfortunately, tomorrow I need to work. <laughs> Luckily, I work from home. But still, I also, my AC isn't working. So I just put in a request. Hopefully, they come today to fix it because it's pretty hot in here. It's like 86 degrees today and just sunny, which is great. But it's pretty hot in here. And then we're just going to clean unpack do laundry i'm definitely gonna take a shower i need to wash my hair with like my shampoo it looks fine right now but it's not like i can't run my face i haven't brushed it since i've gotten to hawaii and y'all know how that goes so that's it from me for this trip uh, i think the bulk of the footage is like b-roll and such not really vlogging but that was just how it worked <laughs> like that's how yeah that's what i felt like doing so Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time and that's it. So I'll see you in my next video.